Hi everybody. We're at Mayport. Look at where we're at. So a huge boat just came past. Let me show you Genevieve. Oh, and that's how you do it. If you're watching the replay, which I'm assuming you are. That's how you live stream to zero people. The title of this video is how to live stream to zero people. And guess what? I've got zero people in here right now. having our dinner <laughs> and Genevieve we've tried everything we wanted her, we had her in my lap we had her here she wants to be right there so there she she's cuddling over there but that's how you do it so we're here to watch the sunset since at 6:55. a huge container ship just went past huge I wish you could have seen it but well, we got here as it was as it was um, coming by and wow it was moving we couldn't I couldn't even set up my live stream fast enough and this is hilarious so we literally here's the edge of the water here right so there's a lot of people fishing and everything and so <laughs> Our car was literally, like, that's probably our tracks. Our car was literally right there, okay? <laughs> and, and the tide came in so fast, we were sitting in wetness, so we had to move the car back. Oh my gosh, so here we are in Mayport, okay? And we were in the live stream earlier today down there, so now we move farther north. tried to go there tonight. That's where we tried to go. We got Wendy's instead because uh, it ended up not being pet friendly. And oh wow, look at this. <laughs> Inside comes in fast. Oh my gosh. Okay, I'm backing up. I'm not ready to get all wet. So it's still coming. So Okay, I'm gonna back up. <laughs> Brian. So, wait, what was I saying? Oh yeah, so we were, wow, look at all this. So, we were gonna go to Singleton's, but they weren't pet friendly and the line was uh, like a million, million people long. And we wanted to catch the sunset and we didn't know how long it was gonna take. So, we ended up getting Wendy's. <laughs> Oh, <laughs> Brian's taking somebody's picture over there. That's funny. <laughs> oh, <laughs> so so that's how you do it, okay, people? Zero people, zero people are still in the chat. So people will come floating in and out, but I'm still at zero people, and so I wanted to title this "How to Live Stream to Zero People" because guess what? <laughs> If you look that up, basically um, what you get is a lot of, you know, edited videos about how to live stream, but no one, no one. That was funny. Did you get their picture, Brian? Yeah. No one live streams about how to live stream, right? <laughs> so I'm going to do it. So this is how you do it. So basically we're four minutes and one second in and there's still zero people. And that's probably because I didn't title it with the location of what we're doing. So when I title it with the location, obviously then people will come. They'll be like, oh, she's at Bucky's. Oh, she's wherever I'm at. Uh, but this live stream I've titled how to live stream to zero people. So <laughs> um, but we'll see who comes to that. I did tag my location as Mayport. So we're at Mayport, Florida. We're here to watch the sunset. And I'm here to talk to you about everything that I have learned in my first 10 live streams. So this is live stream number 11, okay? And I've learned a whole heck of a lot. I mean, like so much that it's not even funny. Hold on, I gotta, I gotta fix my headband. <laughs> it's driving me crazy. Let's put you down here for a second. Look at this sunset. Oh my God, it's, my hair is falling out. 
Okay, so does the view get any better than this? Oh my god. And if you're just joining me or you're watching the, the replay, I am going to be telling you everything I've learned in my first 10 live streams. And it's a lot, okay? And we're watching the sun set in Mayport. So a lot of ships go past. I'm hoping that we get to see some ships. Um, like I said, this one ship came right before the live stream. Just massive, but it was flying. So, I don't know. It was Hopefully, a row row. It, it was huge. But, um, okay, so getting to what I've learned. So did you get their picture taken? Mm -hmm. Did you eat your dinner? Yeah? You ate? Okay, good. And I got a Frosty. And like I said, we were going to go to Singleton's, but we've still never been there. The line was way too long, so apparently there's a line to go there. Um, it's not like sit down, you order ahead. Alright, so everything I've learned. <laughs> so I'm saving the most important piece of advice for last because it is that important. Make sure you, speaking of, because this is one of the things I learned, go into my live stream and please give me a thumbs up, Brian. And then we will know that Brian's the first person in. And by the way, someone just came in and came out. And that happens all the time. So I'm still at zero people. Someone came in, hi, and they left. And that's fine. And that happens all the time. <laughs> yeah, you can mute it. Um, and there's a time delay, obviously. Um, but people float in and out of your live stream all the time. And the only way you'll know that really is at the beginning when you don't have a lot of people in your live stream. So just ignore those numbers or um, just leave them up. You can, what's so funny? You have a comment that says, I don't like ships. <laughs> I have a comment? What did you say? Hi! Okay, so see, Brian's in my, let's see. Oh, I don't like ships. Oh, well. We didn't see any, unfortunately. Maybe we will, maybe we won't. But um, <laughs> there, there's some pretty cool ships that go past here. So, so, um, all right. So what was I saying when you said that? Oh, okay. So speaking of, the first, the first thing that is the most important, uh, I'm going least important to most important, if that makes sense, is um, just to do it and just just live stream to zero people and just talk like somebody's watching the replay or that there's people in there and um, because someone is going to watch this after the fact and as long as you keep it up so just do it and don't delete it so and just build your live stream library so this is my 11th live stream and I can't even tell you how many things I've learned. We have gone through so much in 10 live streams, but these 10 live streams have brought me to a variety of different places, these beautiful locations. And it's one of the many reasons I'm doing this is to show you all the fun, beautiful places we go to, but in real time instead of edited time. So there's a, it's a lot different of a uh, video when you do live, but I really wanted to add it to, add it to my channel. And before I go any further, I want to say this live stream advice is for adults, adult channels. Children can watch this video, obviously, but I am gearing this live stream advice to adult channels because I think children's settings are different based on parental uh, settings and everything. So. This isn't about live streaming, children live streaming. This is about adults live streaming. And so the first thing that's gonna happen when you go live for the first time, if you're a small channel and you have zero, zero people watching and you have you know, the well under the 500 to 1,000 subscribers. So when you hit 500 to 1,000, you can live stream on your laptop, your Mac, your PC, uh, and you can embed your live stream into your computer. But when you don't have that many subscribers, you can only live stream on mobile, okay? So if you live stream on mobile, you can still do that at home or you can go out and about. So, so there's a lot of a learning curve 
because one, you're going out and about, because my channel is about um, more about being out and about than sitting in front of a laptop talking to you guys. So I'm learning the aspects of what to film live and when to film it and wh when to pan away and when, when, what should be on stream, obviously trying to get copyrighted music off, the, off of stream and everything like that. Um, but I'm learning it as I'm doing it. Um, whereas if you waited till you got your thousand subscribers, your 500 to 1,000 and you could do it on your laptop at home, uh, you, you, can, uh, you don't have to worry about learning how to live stream out in public. But I'm learning how to live stream out in public just as an extra challenge to myself. You can still live stream from mobile at home. You just can't live stream on, um, on your laptop. The, the next and the other thing is, is you're gonna hit start, okay? You're gonna hit go live. This part is, is fully known on blogs and websites and reviews and everything and uh, videos. They say you hit go live the first time, you have to wait 24 hours. So be prepared for that. That didn't happen to me, so I must have hit go live some other time and not gone live. Um, the other time, the, the next thing is you're gonna hit go live and then after you're live, YouTube is just gonna start bombarding you with warnings and be safe and you know, blah, blah, blah. What, all, the, all the warnings you could possibly think of that YouTube warns you of come up for the first time after you go live for the first time. So when you're saying, hi guys, how are you doing? Welcome to my channel. No, it's not, you can't look at that. You're gonna be reading all these things and you're like, huh, look at what, what does it say? And it's YouTube saying, guard your privacy, be safe, blah, 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 right? All that is going to be on your screen as you're live. So that really threw me off. So finally, I've gone live enough times now that um, it, it doesn't give me all these warnings anymore. But I think it's, I think it's those fail-safes about um, YouTube not wanting to live stream, you know, dangerous or har harmful content or anything. Um, so... There's just a lot of, a lot of, that's their fail safe to make sure that um, you have to have these many subscribers before you can go live. Uh, just, just not people posting spam. And so you get past your 24 hours, you get past hitting go live, you get past all the warnings that pop up or disclaimers or whatever you want to call it. And then you're live and then you're live to zero people. And then you can see your count. And you, you just got to ignore that. Just if you want to go live, you just got to go live and ignore the count and ignore the numbers. Okay. I think we need to pull it, pull it up again, Brian. Oh my goodness. Yeah, it's coming in fast. <laughs> okay, sorry. <laughs> the ice cream man is here. All right, pull up, Brian. <laughs> ice cream. Hold on. There's the ice cream man. I'm trying to talk to you guys. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay, here's good. Okay. <sighs> okay, that's hilarious. What time is it? Let's see where this sunset. Sunsets in six minutes. So, <laughs> Brian, this is hilarious. The tide comes in that fast here. Oh my gosh, look at that sun um so you get past all those things right you get past all the the waiting period the amount of subscribers that you need to have um if you want to go mobile on your, at home or or on location somewhere and then let's see there we go <laughs> and then you're live and you're live to zero people. So the next thing I recommend is that you have someone with you if you're live streaming out in public. I have not live streamed alone yet. You totally can, but I think it's better to 
live stream with somebody else. Let me turn you around. <laughs> Look at this. Oh my gosh. Tell me you got some photos. I'm gonna, I'm gonna um, get a photo like right there with that. Okay, I'll be right back. So, so um, I'm still at zero people. People fly in and out, and that's okay. Just ignore it. Okay. All right, so right here, look at this. I'm gonna get a screenshot of that after the fact. And that, that brings me to the next thing that I've learned. So I'm on my phone to stream to you guys, right? That means I have no, no way to take pictures. Um, so I'm screen grabbing these after the fact, but this is beyond breathtaking, is it not? I mean, this is just, oh my gosh. So, You've got to remember if you're live streaming out in public as a new streamer, and I'm assuming you only have one phone like I do, there's not going to be a way to get notifications or in contact with people while you're streaming because the next thing I'm going to recommend to you is that you put your phone on do not disturb. If you don't, you're going to get literally disturbed with your notifications on your live stream. It kind of will cut out in and out. So I immediately started doing... Uh, started putting my phone on do not disturb okay and that helps a lot so I would recommend doing that and so <laughs> what's so funny you laughing at me look at that sunball I know it's amazing so if you have your oh my god it's just amazing you have your phone on do not disturb and then you will proceed through your live stream without interruption from your phone, from your phone dinging you on anything, phone calls, notifications, anything. The next thing is because you will be having your phone on do not disturb. Brian, this is so pretty. I can barely continue with my conversation. <laughs> this is, we're just, just going to watch the sun go down right now. And I will continue on. Remind me that I was talking about um, do not disturb on the phone and notifications and um, what was I going to say? Oh, okay. So just remind me about that. That's, that's, where, I, that's where I was at. We're going to watch this sun go down, guys. <laughs> 6.53. We've got two minutes, okay? goes kiss the sun good night with me Mwah. oh my god is this pretty or what oh, it's like a fireball never seen the tide go in that fast. That was, this is very funny. So if you're just joining me, we're in Newport, Florida, and we're watching the sunset, and I'm talking to you about everything I've learned in my t first 10 live streams. And that's the other thing that I would recommend you do. Live stream to zero, but keep talking as if there's people in there. Remember that people are going to watch what you're talking about after the fact. You're going to have a video out there that is something that you wanted to film and want to put out there and just remember that you're talking to the people that are coming in to view this content after the fact and don't be shy don't be scared okay here see let me let me flip you i'm right here i'm doing it i got nobody there's still nobody in here nobody wants to watch me talk about live streaming to zero people what the heck okay no who cares right okay
it's all okay. Just do it, okay? Just do it. It's okay to live stream to zero people. Just ignore those numbers. Just don't even focus on that. In fact, I think there's a way you can turn it off. I truly do not care, but if I did, I would turn it off. So if you want to not look at the numbers, go ahead. The tide is moving up again, so I'm gonna back up a little. Um, go ahead and, and see if you can figure out how to turn that number count off. I know there's a way you can do it. I don't know if that's a feature available to you after you hit a certain number of subscribers or what, but there's definitely a way to do it. Like I said, I don't care about the number count in the sense that, oh, something just jumped right there. It doesn't bother me that there's zero people in here now because I know people are gonna watch after the fact. Okay, so, um, and I just know I need to get this message out there. So if nobody's gonna watch right away, they'll watch it when, when that message is important to them to learn from. So just don't worry about those numbers and just go ahead and do it. And I promise you it will be okay. It will all be okay. Just keep talking and just keep delivering your message. And forget about the numbers. So now the sun is down. Okay guys, look at that. Oh gosh, is it pretty. And I'm gonna continue telling you the few other things that I learned that are really important. So to demonstrate, um, hold on, we gotta finish the one. I know Brian needs to remind me, hold on. <laughs> Brian, what was the one I needed you to remind me? Uh, <laughs> Talking about, okay. So having your phone on do not disturb, that will help, okay? Let's set you back up here, face this way. Okay. Have your phone on Do Not Disturb, and then you will not worry about any interruptions, but that brings me to um, the next thing is have somebody in your chat. So that way I can learn what the chat even looks like. So if you guys see me in these first live streams saying, hey Brian, go into my video, give me a thumbs up. I wanna see how fast those thumbs up work and they do work correctly. It's just very interesting to me. I don't care if you guys don't wanna thumbs up my video, you don't have to. Although I would appreciate it. So right now at this time, I'm gonna tell you, please thumbs up my video, subscribe if you're new. Thank you for being here. And that's something that you should also be doing when you have zero people watching. Please make sure you still remind people to subscribe and thumbs up your video if they're enjoying this content, okay? So I asked Brian early on um, if he would join my chat because I wanna see, because nobody's talking to me, right, at the beginning. And so I had Brian make a chat and now he can chat with me. <laughs> and so now I can see what the chat looks like but that was only at the beginning now people actually talk it in my stream so I don't need to worry about what it looks like the next thing I learned is literally about what the screen looks like my YouTube was always in dark theme and it really messed up the chat I've had my YouTube app in dark theme for so many years I forgot there was a light theme so when I started the live streaming I um, realized I can't read the chat at all. What is it saying? And I'm sque squinting. I can't even see it, right? So uh, I realized finally that maybe it would look different if my YouTube app wasn't in dark theme. So I changed it and it's a whole lot better. So now that's my next reminder is to make sure you know what your setting is in YouTube. If you're having a hard time reading the screen, definitely see what um, what uh, mode your YouTube is in okay that will help you a lot and then besides my last tip what else am I forgetting Brian oh thumbnails okay thumbnails this is a huge thing okay so when you're new and you have zero streamers or zero people listening and you only have the first few um, you don't have your 500 to 1,000, so you don't have all the benefits of what 
a streamer with that many subscribers has, your thumbnail. So if you're watching this right now, you clicked on the thumbnail that is my avatar. That's the only thing it lets me do for now. I think that will not open up to me until I hit the 500 to 1000. I have no idea why, but in, it, it, this is why I wanted to tell you this during a live stream because nobody tells you this during a live stream. They have all these edited videos telling you that, but they don't realize and they don't remember what they went through while they were doing it. So you hit go live and it buffers and it's supposed to say thumbnail. So if you ever watch people's, you know, um, laptop chats, they're chatting with you streaming at home and they're like, hey, that's their thumbnail. They take a quick thumbnail right before it and here, this is me, this is where I'm actually at. So I can't do that. And I think that's because I don't have my 500 to 1000 yet, whichever level that opens up. So it only gives my avatar, so you can't see what I'm, what, what, um, where I'm filming, my, my situation, my setting, until you actually click on me. So that's another reason that people will click in and out, okay? So because they're like, what am I looking at? What is this, what is this video all about, right? So the thumbnail issue is a thing, but it will only be a thing until you're fully monetized in the, in the YouTube Partner Program. When you hit your 500 to 1,000, then you'll be able to do anything you want with your thumbnails. But even if it says to you, take your thumbnail, for me, it never has worked yet. That's why all of these videos, when they first come out, my, when I'm on the live stream, I have no thumbnail. It's just not a benefit to, benefit to me yet. Um, but I can go back in right away after the fact and change the thumbnail. Which leads me to my next one, which is after a live stream ends, when you have zero, zero, um, zero people or you know nobody's watching you and you're, you're a very small baby streamer, I'm a baby streamer, okay? The next thing that's, that is very, um, confusing and nobody tells you is hold on I want to see if there's another ship coming or boat <laughs> um shoot what was I gonna say the next thing that the thumbnails um give me a minute I gotta remember What was I talking about? Somebody remind me. <laughs> this is why we need people in the chat. Um, no, there are two people watching. Thank you, I really appreciate it. Um, it was an important point, but I am doing this without any script because I want uh, to just tell you how I'm feeling about everything I've learned. What, what was the next thing I was gonna talk about? After thumbnails, the thumbnail issue we've had, um, it was along those lines uploading oh privatizing okay so the very second i end this stream tonight i say goodbye hit x go cut out guess what happens to my video nobody tells you this it's in vlogs and stuff but really it's really important the second i hit goodbye x close the video i'm done being live guess what's going to happen to this video it's going to be privatized and you won't know it. Nobody will tell you that, okay? It's buried in some terms and conditions. But if you ever want anybody to see this video ever again, you won't know that it's private. And it will remain private until you go back into your settings and change it to a public video. And that's really, really important. But these are all the little things that as a, I'm calling it a baby streamer. I'm a baby streamer, okay? As a baby streamer, you learn just by doing it, and I highly recommend just doing it. You, um, it's very frustrating at times to see that you hit end live and then for totally forget that the live just ended, but you're private. So again, that's another protection, I think, and I totally get it. YouTube is trying to help prevent you know, dangerous, harmful content or spam and all that kind of stuff. So when you're new, they're gonna go ahead and bury you, right? So you're privatized. 
So you just gotta remember, every time you end your live, go back into your settings in your YouTube studio and hit public. Then you can change your thumbnail and all those other things. Now this leads me to my, I have my last and most important thing to tell you. But before I do that, what do you, do you have anything that I forgot? I think that bridge over there is the 295 bridge. Where? Point. You can see the, you can see the holes. The, the, poles the these up. ones? Yeah, the golden, you know, the golden yeah. cable system. Wow, cool. What is that bridge called? I don't remember. Look it up. Um, besides the most important thing, do you have any that uh, that I'm forgetting? Sounds like you got most of them there. Yeah, so that it's all just like technical stuff that nobody tells you. And now I'm going to go show you the most important part. And in order to do that, I'm going to demonstrate it to you. So we're going to get up and we're going to go for a little walk. And then I will tell you the most important thing. Dame's so point Dame's point, yes. Okay. Um, before I do that, the that's another thing I forgot. I added Brian into the chat. So one, he can give me a thumbs up. He could be in the stream. I want to hear if it's working. Nobody's in the stream to tell me because I'm talking to zero people, right? So nobody's saying, hey, you're lagging, you're cutting out, right? So I have Brian to tell me, hey, you're shaking. Hey, it's cutting out. Hey, whatever. So that's why I have Brian in the chat. So I highly recommend having someone with you and having someone in your chat. Um, ask your mom, ask a sister, anybody that can help you be in your chat to help communicate those things with you. And Brian has been really helpful with that because I've learned so much just from having him be in the chat for me. And the other thing that I did with Brian in the chat is he's my first moderator now. I finally learned how to add moderators and Brian, as of today, is my moderator. So Brian, can you go ahead and put something in the chat right now for me to demonstrate this one? Because this is so exciting. What do you want me to do? Just send me a chat, say hi. <laughs> Say, how does it, how, how do you uh, learn how to stream to zero viewers? No, I'm just kidding. And my numbers are coming in and out, and I'm still just talking, right? So just keep ignoring those numbers. People will float in and out. It's okay. It's really okay. Don't worry if you're at zero. Okay, Brian, hope you're enjoying the sunset as you stream to zero people, Smiley. <laughs> Yes, thank you. I knew he would have a good one. So when his name comes up now, he's got the little tool next to his name. That's because he's a moderator. So he's my first moderator. I've made it 11 live streams. I'm so proud of myself. That's all thanks to you. I'm all thanks to you. I would not be doing this if I wasn't talking to you. And so I'm really happy. And that's why I wanted to do this live stream tonight. This is live stream number 11. I'm telling you everything I learned in my first 10 live streams. It's a lot. So thanks for bearing with me. I wanted to do it just without a script and without an edited video because that's the only way that you can see everything that goes on while you're live. And if you're live in public, that's a complete, we can do a completely different live stream on that. We already literally had the tide come in at us while we're live and an ice cream man drive by. So you never know what's gonna happen while you're live. Whole different video. So my final point, and then I have a bonus point. We're going to walk to demonstrate this. All right, so let me flip you. Hold on. We're gonna do, <laughs> let's see. One, two, three, three, two, one. Okay, we're gonna go on a little walk so I can demonstrate this to you. Where should I walk to, Brian? This way or that way? <laughs> okay, this way, okay. All right, we're going on a walk. Wait, let me see. All right, we're going this way. So enjoy this little stroll with me.
Oh, and the whole gimbal situation. So that's something else. But that's not necessarily pertaining to lives and live streaming to zero. Although it is something that I've learned a lot since... Since uh, I started live streaming. I've had like a different gimbal for every live stream, it seems like. Alright, so let's go to here. is really pretty. Okay, so where's Brian? He is somewhere over here. Not that far. Looks like it kind of just ends here. So we're going to go what the other side looks like. What? <laughs> Alright, I'm gonna go this way a little. Don't ask me where I'm going because I don't know. I'm just trying to demonstrate something here. <laughs> and by the way, there's this is the naval station right there. Mayport uh, Naval Base. Alright, we're over here. How far do we get? Let's see. <laughs> We got point one mile away. Okay. Let's go a little further. Oh, look at this palm down. Wow. Oh. Okay, so let me flip you around now. So, all right, here we are, <laughs> Long A1A. There's not a lot of people around. I'm only 0.1 miles from Brian. I'm just trying to set the setting here that I go on these walks and I'm live. But I'm not actually gonna go very far tonight. But the, I wanted to demonstrate that when you're live and um, you're not in your house and you're out, right? The number one thing, what is it? Looky here, there's cars. What is the number one thing when you're live? Bonus points if you can answer me. I'll give you like three seconds. What's the number one thing? Oh. Number one thing when you're live and you're in public that I want you to remember. No guesses. It's safety, okay? Safety trumps anything, trumps viewers, trumps having zero people. As there's literally someone 
behind me. Oh my God, he's gonna roll me over. Okay, so how ironic. No, I did not plan that. <laughs> I didn't hire that guy to do that. Okay, <laughs> um, safety trumps everything, okay? Focus on you and where you're at and your surroundings and always, always care more about your safety than about your live stream. If you have to drop your live stream to run away from a car, go ahead, <laughs> okay? So that's the number one thing. And I think that's everything. So please just keep safety in mind when you're live streaming. Always be aware of your surroundings and have someone with you. Um, and now I just want to get to my bonus tip. My bonus tip is to, I said this at the beginning, okay? Hold on, let me get this off. My bonus tip is to just do it, okay? Look at how much fun you could have. This is fun for me. This is my Saturday night, having Wendy's and watch the sunset go down, right? So just do it. Ignore the numbers. Who cares if you're talking to zero people? There's going to be people watching this after the fact because you have a message to tell. They might not just catch the live. So don't just take, don't take it personally that you have zero people in there right now. You're, you have something to say and you have a story to tell and you have to get it out there. And if you want to go live like I did, I had to wait for the 50 subs to go to live. So now I can go live. So thank you to all my subs because that's the only reason I could be doing this right now is because of you guys. So if you want to go live, just do it. Who cares about the numbers? Ignore the fact that there's zero people. And by the way, there's not zero people in right now. I got one person watching. I bet it's Brian, but it's still one person. Who knows? No, he's reading the news. It's not him. Are you? Okay, good. Then it's you. So nobody else is in there and that's okay and it's all gonna be okay. I promise you, I want you to go live. If you wanna go live, I want you to go live and I want you to go live to zero viewers and then come back on this video and tell me how it went for you, okay? Have someone with you, have a little support system or do it all on your own. Either way, remember safety first, have fun and get your message out in the world. You can't get your message out there if you don't hit record. So go ahead and hit record and do it. And if you want to go live, go ahead and do it. And I hope you enjoyed this. I'm going to say good night. We're going to finish our Wendy's and watch the rest of the sunset here for a while. And I'm going, probably going to be live tomorrow, just a heads up. So please give me a thumbs up. Remember to tell the, the zero viewers that are watching, hey, I have two people now. So I'm ending and there's someone coming in. I'm so happy. So thank you. So some remember people are gonna watch your replay. You still gotta get that message out there. I'm probably gonna be live tomorrow, heads up, Sunday. And just go ahead and do it. I hope you have a wonderful night. I'm Christine Piper. You're watching Christine's Floridian Dreams here with me. <laughs> in Mayport watching the ships go by <laughs> which we caught off stream of course um, and uh, thank you for being here and I will see you guys again soon I love you so much bye